Hello friends, welcome to beautiful downtown Tampa, Florida. I'm here in front of the Tampa Museum of Art where my DALI annual membership gets me in for the month. Let's go check it out. There's a lot of construction happening around. It's an interesting place. It's a railroad track here and a giant museum. I have never been here before. Heard of it, knew it was here. Never taken the time until today. up some literature and a map. There's an elevator or we can take the stairs, which we will be taking. First, I'm gonna sit down and look this over. So it looks like just an informational book on the museum and some of the exhibits that are here. Just a brief synopsis. That's about it. Here in the lobby are some pretty large pieces. This place is pretty big. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh. Now we're talking. This is really cool. Moving on. I would really like to run and jump in the middle of this boat full of, looks like big pillows and yarn. Looks like it'd be fun. How did you get here? Why are you here? almost stepped on this. They're all connected by these little tiny red lines. Spot on the wall. Huh. This piece is from 1967. I like these older pieces that take a little bit of time to curate in a museum. I don't know how long this has been here, but it's pretty interesting that the artist can create something that's as detailed and laid out like that, and that many years later, decades later, it can be installed in exactly the same way, I assume, as it was originally. I like that. It's a little time travel art. It's all time travel art, I guess, right? I especially like this flamingo. There's a cool exhibit of poetry and paint. Old Florida art. Here's something interesting about some St. Petersburg artists here in the gallery. I've never heard this before. The club members of the art club of St. Pete describe St. Pete as the city beautiful. I always say that it is beautiful, St. Petersburg, but the city beautiful is Orlando. It's a, it's a strange motto or slogan or whatever I guess it is. The city beautiful, it never made sense to me. I've never heard it in reference to St. Pete, though. Interesting. The galleries are all set up very organized like this, where you can see the painting and then read about them all in one spot. Not something that I experience very often, or really ever.
I like these small pieces of pottery, little tiny vases and such. These are some really old pieces from the 11th and 15th century. All the pieces in these cases are very old, very old. This oil lamp is from between the 5th and 6th centuries. This bowl was made around the time of Christ. This glass sprinkler bottle from the 3rd or 4th century. It's pretty interesting with this decorative piece of glass on the side. This head of a young woman was made in 50 BC. This is all from Purvis Young. Looks just like regular building materials with some paint, plywood and such. Oh, they have this door. Let's go through it. Some exterior art. This may not transfer to the camera, but it is real trippy to walk around this with those dots in the back. Optical illusion. It looked like it was real close and then far away. Weird. Beautiful view of downtown Tampa and University of Tampa. Right there. And back to the art. This is from 6th century BC. That is really old. This piece of pottery with the resting lion on it is between 50 and 250 BC. This hanging bronze piece and this other one here is from between 700 and 750 BC. A clay puppet. And a water bird. I very much like this piece. This is the first antiquity acquired by the Tampa Museum of Art. It's from 520 to 510 BC. Something I noticed about this piece is that there's holes. There's two holes on each quadrant of this. I wonder what that's for. Anybody know? Some more really old stuff. It's an old set of tools from the first century. I really like seeing this really old stuff. It's like a connection to stuff that's nearly 3,000 years old and what people were doing and wearing and using for tools. It's pretty rad. Okay, time to go down the trippy stairway. These rocks are so nicely placed. And of course, the gift shop. Okay, lots of stuff. Oh, some postcards here. Of course, lots of Christmas items. And some Florida stuff here. Free Callow purse. Fanny packs, art books. Socks, some plush things, and some books. But all I'm gonna get is this one postcard. And I'm gonna get this funny card. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Friends, this was a grand trip into the Tampa Museum of Art. It's a really nice museum, a lot of cool stuff in there, a lot of old pieces. I wasn't expecting to see that old of pieces, just stuff that was 2,500, 3,000 years old. Pretty amazing. Thanks for joining me today, friends. I really appreciate your company. It's starting to rain, so I'm gonna make it back to the car and make my way to the next adventure. I'll see you in the next video, friends.